Hello, my name is Ryan Dark, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer here at GoEngineer. In this GoEngineer Quick Tips video, I will be showing you how to diagnose and resolve an unstable model within simulation. Uh, the model you see before you is that of a checkerboard with checker pieces on it. Um, I've set up some contacts and a fixture that I think are sufficient to restrain all the bodies in this system so that none of them have rigid body motion. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run it. I feel good about it. I'm just going to go ahead and run. And comes up with an error. So the iterative solver stopped, status code 9, matrix singular or indefinite. May not have adequate restraints. So this error is like many errors uh, that you might see. Anything that says may not have sufficient constraints or matrix singular or indefinite, or model is unstable, these all mean the same thing. It means one of your bodies is experiencing rigid body motion. So the most important part, though, is no results saved. So we don't get to see what's going on uh, if we press OK. It's just going to fail out. So we need to move all of our information about this study, our contact sets, our fixtures. We need to move that into a static study, which I have set up here and rerun it. So I've moved the contact sets over, I've moved the fixture over, I've applied a gravity load to get things moving around, and I've gone into the study properties here, and I've turned on the use soft spring to stabilize model. Uh, that's important, it has to do that to help you get results, to help you see what is going on. You want to leave large displacement mode turned off though, that's just going to make it fail again. So. Go ahead and accept those settings. We'll go ahead and run this. The solver comes up, and whoops, it gives us kind of a warning. This isn't an error, it's just a warning. Um, it says we have excessive displacements. We kind of expect that because our model is unstable. There's a rigid body motion somewhere. So the important thing to note about this warning, it's asking you to go into large displacement mode. You want to tell it no. Telling it no saves out some results. We get to look at stuff that's going on. So um, my model's all blue. Um, it's not helping me a lot right now, but I'm missing some of my checker pieces here. So I'm just going to edit my displacement plot here. I'm going to turn off the deform shape. So I turn off the deform shape. My checker pieces return. They are very colorful compared to the rest of the checkerboard. And according to my legend here, they are very far away. So these are my problem bodies here. So if I go back in, I hide this plot, go back into my contact set, edit its definition. I notice, whoops, I forgot to define contact sets for those pieces. So I'm just going to add the faces of the checkerboard and then the bottom faces of the checker pieces. Go ahead and accept that. I have to remesh to rerun this study, but I've already made that change in this stable study. So when I rerun it now, it's going to give me results that are going to look more normal. Things aren't going to be flying away. It's just going to look kind of like things are moving around. Looks OK. Everything's connected together. Um, looks good. So now. I have the contact sets that I want to have. I can take them back over to a frequency study and put them in. And now when I run the frequency study, it's going to give me results that I was expecting to get. It's not going to give me that error. I'm not going to have a singular matrix. Nothing's going to be unstable. So it's just going to go through and give me mode shapes for my frequency. Now, I just did a frequency study because it runs fast, but this works for all of your studies that come up with instability errors. So uh, if you find yourself in an instability error, just take all of your contact sets and fixtures and put them into a test study, a test linear static study, and that will help you track down what might be causing this. So uh, this has been Ryan Dark with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out our other videos for more tips on using SOLIDWORKS.